how many fourth graders do you think you could take? Like beaten up? Yeah. Hand to hand combat. Like to the point where they're not coming back at me? Like I've knocked them out? Correct. Yeah. Either that or they're like, eh, you know. I mean, I could take a classroom, like 30 kids. You think? I think so. Okay. Because I think the majority of them wouldn't. Once they saw a few of their friends get, get knocked get KO'd, out, they'd be like, all right, I'm good. I'm going to go read Lord of the Rings or Start something. running away. Yeah, I could take, yeah. I could, I could take a classroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, um, shall we? 37? Yes. Sean Nickelodeon Alexander? slash, oh, I was going to say Deion oh. Sanders with the Ravens, but. Well, that was Nickelodeon later. Originally for me, it was 51. Originally, for me, it was 30. And then old 37. Okay. Bam. Got my finger in the thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome back. Fingers in the thing. 37th episode of the Poor Choice Show. I'm your host, Chris. Here with my co-host, David. And to Nancy Grace, Pele, Doug Flutie, Weird Al, and Ryan Reynolds. Happy Happy birthday. birthday. Let's make some poor choices. Turn me down in your head a little bit. I'm still getting a little feedback. Could be a song lyric. Turn me down in your head a little bit. I'm still getting a little feedback. <laughs> yeah. Let me write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like Brooks and Dunny almost. Yeah. yeah if it's not an episode title, it could at least be uh, some intro music. Subscribe. Oh, those were clean. Those were some clean birthdays, too. Yeah, I know all those people. I'm surprised you paid attention this time. I have to tell myself to. <laughs> <laughs> like, right there is when I, like, started clicking on my computer or, like, fidgeting yeah. around and something. And That's your, uh, your pop quiz is going to start being whose birthday was it? Yeah, no. Active listening. <laughs> Actively And then I was surprised that I knew every single person. So I try to keep people that I know because there's like, like a lot of times I'll Google and there's like usually four or five different sites that like have that are usually like the first ones that pop up on Google that I'll go to. And they're all pretty similar in their ranking. And a lot of them, like some of the higher ranked ones I've never fucking heard of. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to say it because I assume that our listeners are the same interest as us. Like, why are they wishing the third king of France happy birthday? Like, Yeah. Like, yeah, he's popular, <laughs> but does anybody really care? Right. No, they don't care. Well, let me hit you with a uh, nice little riddle that has always gotten me perplexed where, like, some days I understand it and then other days I have to, like, explain <laughs> it to myself that it makes sense. <laughs> Okay. (laughs) And then eventually I talk myself into it. Oh, yeah, that does make sense. All right. So this is the the two doors. So there's two doors down. There's two doors. One's leading to heaven. One is leading to hell. They're completely identical. You can't tell them apart at all. Uh, So it's, you know, it's like 50 50. Um, Obviously, you want to go to the one that goes to heaven, right? Right. If you believe in that kind of thing. Sure, sure. Um, all right, so there's two guards, two identical guards guarding each door. The one guarding hell always tells a lie. And the one guarding heaven always tells the truth. You have to ask one question to find out which is which and then go through the door you want. What one question do you ask? You ask the guard that's guarding. Oh, so you don't know which one is which. So you ask doors and the guards are identical. So the one guarding hell lies can only tell lies. The one guarding heaven can is always telling the truth. Okay. So I think you just ask one of them if the other door is the door leading to heaven. All right. So let's say, let's say you're the heaven guarder. I'm the hell guarder. If you ask me, is the other door leading to heaven? I just say yes. You're the hell guarder? Uh-huh. 
and then if you ask so the no, guy, that, so that's, and then if you ask the that's guy, that's a lie, though. No, I'd that's say not no. a lie, right? I'd say yeah, you'd say no, no. And if you ask the heaven guy, he'd say yes, yes, yeah. That's pretty. I mean, that's basically that's it. right, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's um, if I was to ask the other one what door they were guarding, what would they say? So I'd ask that to one of them. And then whatever they answer is the door they're guarding. Right. Yeah. So if so I ask the one guarding the same thing, heaven, if I ask the other guy, what door is he hiding? What's he going to say? And the guy saying heaven, who's guarding heaven, would say heaven because the devil's going to lie. But that means he's actually guarding heaven and then vice versa for the devil. Yeah. So I'd get the same answer with my question, right? I think so. Yeah. Is the other door. Because then if you ask the one guarding hell, if I ask the other guy, what door is he guarding? What's he going to say? And he has to lie. So he's going to say right. hell. And right. that means that you know that that's actually what he's guarding. Right. Yeah. So you got it. So yeah. like whenever I hear that or see it, I'm like, yeah, wait, wait so you're like, uh, uh, the fo- and then carry the one. Yep. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I get that shit too. Like sometimes uh, that happened recently. I don't remember what it is or what it was, but like, you hear something or you see something and it makes sense. And it, it, it's like a mood based thing. Like you yeah. see it or hear it again. And you're like, uh, I don't get it. Yeah, that's not right. And I'm not even yeah. going to use my brain power to think about right. it. Right. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's what it is, is when I hear this, like some days I'm like, well, let me really think about this. And other days I'm like, right. it's not even worth it. I'm probably right. I don't know. <laughs> right. But then the other, like the days you do get, it, it's like, sometimes you don't even have to think about it. It's no, just it's just like, like oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. It happens all the time. Yeah. Well, good job. Thanks. If I didn't know the answer, I would have struggled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got, there's not a whole lot of, like, what else would you ask them, though? Like, can't be too many things. Like, how's your mother doing? Uh, like, she's doing yeah. fucking awful. Like, who's going to say that about their mother? So you're like, okay, she, that's well, they, probably they both, one guard in the door to hell, right? No, they both would say she's doing great. The devil wouldn't. Yeah, he'd lie and say she is, but really she's not. Why? Oh, because she's the devil's she's mother? Like in hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like it's, Hitler's mom. Like, it's, uh, is uh, Rosie O'Donnell dead? I feel like she's got to go there. Not yet. I think it. I think the, the Reaper almost got her, and then Ozempic came out, so. <laughs> so she, she's... <laughs> She's still kicking. That's I'm actually kicking the, the devil's gift to us, so he c- can keep her torturing us for a few more years. Well, he better he better take a lot more of them after he took Betty, because at ninety nine in like three hundred and fifty days or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, dude. Oh, fuck Golden that guy. guy. Mm-hmm. Fuck that guy. So, um, I was in Maryland last week while you were down here, the uh, hurricaneing. Yeah. Batting down the hatches and hanging on for dear life. We um, went on a little golf golf outing, but it was like uh, mid fifties all day. Um, and I just kind of was like Under Armour polo and shorts, and I'll be fine. And like the next day was like throats on fire and like sniffling, and I'm like, that was fucking dumb, wasn't it? Well, fi- fire was on your throat. Well. There's fireball on my throat. I can tell you that. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so that kind of numbed out the pain the day of, but the next morning was like just that, well, you're an idiot. You should have uh, brought like a hoodie or pants or both. Yeah. Um, you know, 60 for us is like snow gear. Yeah. And I think I've grown accustomed to that too. Cause like, you know, 55, 60 in Maryland, it's like, okay, yeah, a hoodie and jeans, that's, you know, whatever. Yeah, shit, that's, you hit 60, that's shorts after winter. Yeah. Um, and then th- we had so much stuff planned all week. It was just kind of like ibuprofen and keep drinking and partying. And and finally. It's, so was it's, that like one of the first days? Yeah, that was I because I got in Tuesday night real late. Um, right. w- Wednesday, we just kind of chilled because I was supposed to fly in that day originally. So we didn't really have anything planned. Right. Um, we went out to dinner or whatever. And then Thursday was golf. So really like the first day of festivities. Um, and then every day after that was that we had something big going on which was always heavy drinking i mean i'm not complaining but it was always revolved around lots of uh consumption and uh eventually once you start drinking enough like even though you feel bad you really don't care right which definitely was 
all of those days. I would kind of pump myself up with coffee and ibuprofen so I could do the activities and then uh, numb the pain with the forbidden fruit, so to speak. And uh, hey, wine, right? It was a good time. Oh, yeah, I guess it would. Well, I didn't have any wine. Mm. No. Um, we did do, you like pumpkin pie, right? Yep. So uh, they do like a once a month happy hour. Uh, my parents do with some friends of theirs. And at the happy hour, they do a month, uh, like a themed milkshake, adult milkshake each month. Where is this at? Uh, this is down um, like Turkey Point. They have friends that own a uh, like canvas shop in a marina, like, like a big shop. And the canvas um, place does it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's their place. You know, it's the guys that yeah. own it. Do they have a liquor license? Oh, no, happy hours in just a party with a bunch of friends. Oh, okay. Like in their shop. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, we did pumpkin pie adult milkshakes, which, uh, holy crap. Did you get a recipe? Um, I don't have the exact one for that, but I know what in it, and I got the exact recipe for last month. So the but the pumpkin one was um the old Smokies moonshine. You seen that stuff? They have yep. like a bajillion flavors. So there's a, a pumpkin one. So we got that. It's like a cream pumpkin. Um, there's this brand called Fulton's, and it was like a pumpkin cream liqueur liqueur. Okay. Liqueur. Um, then we did canned like pumpkin filling. Okay. Uh, vanilla ice cream. Um, now, what did pump- we What did we mix this all in? A blender. Okay. Um, I don't know if some, it was like a like a fucking Gatorade bucket. Like no, we're making- no, 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 no. Like real milkshakes. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, pumpkin spice, like actual like pumpkin spice into that. Um, yeah. and then they blend that up, top it with whipped cream and a um. They took pie crust and baked it, and then topped it with like cinnamon sugar and stuff, and that was the thing they stuck into it. So it was like a, it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch almost to like, like as like a topper, like, you know, like for like uh, Mary's, okay. you'd like instead like, of a lime wedge, it was a crust wedge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Really good. Um, I feel like I'm sitting over here like, uh, like the fucking Prince in Shrek. I'm like, Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this sounds fucking delicious. This one previous month I got it here was the Elvis peanut butter and banana milkshake. Okay. So See, for like that peanut butter and banana, uh huh, um, and bacon. Let's get here. So vanilla ice cream, banana whiskey, screwball peanut butter whiskey, mm. peanut butter, banana, and then whipped cream and bacon bits on top of the whipped cream. So it's a different milkshake because they only have month? this party once a month. Right, but every month is a milkshake. Is a milkshake. So they're thinking okay. they're going to do some kind of like spicy pecan pie or something for november Ah. i actually threw out the idea um of a uh, sweet potato casserole milkshake and that would be delicious well they were all lit and they were like oh yeah that'd be great and then the more we like researched it but my thought of it was like you do your vanilla ice cream actually make one like make just like a little mini casserole right once it's cool like it's been in the fridge for a day or two that's your guts that goes into it because that has all the has sweet potatoes has all the cinnamon it has all the marshmallows it's got everything in it it's got all the butter and then just add more of all that to it yeah i mean add maybe like a scoop of like that fluff and nut what's that stuff called that uh yeah the marshmallow uh, uh fluff. fluff yeah 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 uh-huh um and then just top it off with like mini marshmallows or something you know i think it sounds fucking delicious i might do that this weekend the only thing is we got to think of a um alcohol to put in it because they don't make, like, a sweet potato. I'm, oh, you know what? I think Sky makes, like, marshmallow vodka. But vodka milkshake yeah. wouldn't... I don't know if that'd be great. No, I was thinking more like... Uh, I think like, I don't know why, but, like, it, Malibu seems like it would be fitting with that. Coconut? Yeah, but it's, like... Because I don't like coconut, and I like Malibu. It's not like... If there was, like, a marshmallow whiskey... That would work pretty well. Yeah, I feel I'm like sure I there is. Like it if it was a whiskey, let's see. Marshmallow rum, s'mores whiskey, total wine, mash and mellow s'mores whiskey. There you go. Might do it. Yeah. There's also a Borgata marshmallow liqueur. Uh huh. Yeah, that's this might have to. It, this might have to happen. Because if we try, if we test it out, because I think the key would be is if you pre-make just a mini casserole and that's what you use to blend up in it, I think that would be 
real good. <clears throat> As opposed to just, I don't know, straight blended S- sweet potato. Or like some kind of, yeah. Like how else are you yeah. going to get that sweet potato flavor without it becoming like a savory, not good milkshake? Mm. Just don't use much, I guess. Yeah, but the casserole. like or you just canned yams, maybe? Yeah. Because those but are probably sweetened. You put so much cinnamon and butter into that casserole and marshmallows that... I mean, uh, just mix that I with know ice, I do. I ice know. cream and, and vanilla and... extract. Oh, dude, it's yeah, delicious. Now, the only thing is that marshmallow fluff stuff is it like blend. Yeah, it's thick and sticky. So that's that might be like a like just what you a, put a on rim the rim job. Uh-huh. Yeah, with oh, dude, marshmallow graham or marshmallow around the rim dipped yeah. in graham cracker. Yeah, that would go well with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. We might have to concoct something and send it over to Jamie because they kind of nixed the idea and they're going to go with the pecan pie for November. Well, um, they're wrong, so. <laughs> Are you coming for Thanksgiving? Did we figure yeah, well, that out? I have no idea. Oh, jeez. Last time we talked about it, you said it was too far out. and It still well, is. Is it? Yeah, it's like a month. I feel like you're going to pull a Brittany on me. You're going to say, yeah, it's too far out. And then when I ask you like a week before, you're like, I already got plans. <laughs> no, once I know, you'll know. I mean, even if it's like coming for the weekend after or something, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. I like that. We're that sounds good. That. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good time. That was a good time. It almost sounds fake. So remember I told you that I feel like these makeshift dudes are like, stealing our ideas like I'm ours and like like ours come out and then theirs come out after yeah like a week later a couple weeks later like shit they've never done and like i get a brilliant idea so when did when did we do that real or fake city names like five uh, weeks ago four yeah, weeks give or ago? take uh-huh like three weeks ago they started doing fucking real or fake shit they started with uh, like women's basketball teams, and then like a week or two ago, they did like cities in Europe or something like that. And I'm like, these fucking guys. Oh, I saw oh. one because he was asking them about real or fake English Premier League teams. Yeah, and they did that uh-huh. one. I'm like, which I was like, oh, that the be fuck? A, that, that would have been a good one to give David. Yeah, dude, I would have done just as bad. <laughs> I would have been like, mm, this sounds real, so probably fake. Right. <laughs> but it just seems like every time we do something. They do it. Well, to be fair, we've also taken. We have, yeah. Five folds what they've probably, if they've even taken from us. But yeah, I know. Right. What you mean. But that's, that's because they have like one and a half million followers and we have like 400. They shouldn't be the ones taken from us. Well, across all platforms, we're at like yeah. 2K. So yeah. So they had said that the real or fake things were doing well for them. So I figured we would. Take back what's ours, and I'd hit you with another one. Sound like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to build a wall. <laughs> We're going to make the makeshift project pay for it. I like that. Okay, so uh, what real or fake uh, category you got for me? I want to see if you can guess whether these dog breeds are real or fake. Hmm, there's some wild dog breed names out there, so I'll, I'll give it my uh, my old... College uh, try? College try. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'll bring him into this. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Hernandez, probably. I don't know. <laughs> All right. The first one I have for you is the Bedlington Terrier. Bedlington Terrier. Um, from Bedlington, obviously. Uh, New Zealand, Hampshire, Shire. Bedling. Sounds real. I'm going real. It is real. Okay. Good job. Nice. The next one is the Peruvian Inca Orchid. A plant or a dog? That's, that's, isn't that a flower? Right. Uh, I'm going to go fake. That's real. <laughs> We're, you're going to have to put pictures up when yeah, you uh, I have, publish I this. Have, I have them all. Um, they'll, they'll be As there. soon as you said Peruvian, like, <laughs> P- puff pepper. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. And I was like, well, that wasn't a real pepper. That was fictional. Yeah, what was that from? Jerk and Josh. Come on, man. They have the uh, that's right the salsa cook off to win the big flat screen TV. Yeah, and instead of cinnamon, and not Megan a different episode. Sabotages I think. Them. He Sabotage. puts cinnamon in it or something, and he's like, "I said cumin," because <laughs> <laughs> their dad's like allergic to cinnamon or some shit, and he tastes uh, it and he starts like choking, and he's yeah. That's a show that holds okay. up. Good show. Yeah, good show. Good show. 
I think they, yeah, okay. Different different episode, different time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one is the Silken Ridgeback. What was that first word? Silken? Silken. Silk in Ridgeback. Oh, that sounds like, like a like a snake or something. I'm gonna go it's fake. That is fake. Yeah. It sounds like a like a I don't know, amphibian or something. I don't know, some creature. I'm pretty sure there's like eight different ridgeback breeds. Oh. Ooh. Isn't a Rhodesian ridgeback a thing? Sounds like a store. Oh, I was at Rhodesian getting picking up some <laughs> candles and uh <laughs> See, you know, See, I, th- I would say that's like a clothing store, Rhodesian, that like a Saks Fifth Ave kind of. Oh, yeah, it could be. Well, you know, it's a kind of one stop shop. You can get your candles and you can get your, you know, leggings all in one shop. Yeah. Like a Lululemon. Stand by. Lu- a Lululemon. A Lululemon. I thought that was just like yoga pants. Yeah, it's just like sportswear kind of stuff. But you just compared it to a, being a one stop shop. <laughs> I bet one of them has candles somewhere. Yeah. The. <laughs> okay. All right, coming in hot. This is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Rhodesian? I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing you said like six episodes in a row. <laughs> oh, is he pretty? Okay, the yeah. next one. Yeah, so that's a, it's a thing. Oh, I saw this dog yesterday that had shorter front legs than its back legs. You ever seen dogs, like little dogs like that? Uh, no, when I worked at the shelter, though, there was this little like Pomeranian thing. That, it was like, kind of something like that. So in our office at the shelter, we had, I don't think you were ever there, but there was like eight little like, I don't know, crate kind of like wall crate kind of things that we kept like puppies and smaller dogs in until they were big enough to go in the back. Like a and we'd have to puppy walk them at the, box? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and we'd have to walk them at the end of every day. And there was this little like black Pomeranian fluffy looking thing that I used to take out at the end of every day. And this fucking dude would like... Go up, like, do a handstand to pee. Like, go up on his front paws, hmm. legs vert- back legs vertical in the air, and pee. So piss on himself? No, he, it was a dude, so he pissed outward. Huh. Like, he was probably at, like, a 70-degree eh, like angle. Surprised you never recorded and would that. Pee. Yeah, I should have. I might, uh, I don't think I did. I'm imagining just like walking down the park with my family and this guy's like videoing this dog on its front legs <laughs> peeing. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Happened? Come on, kids. We got to go. Oh, Get in the Honda Odyssey. Great. Come on. Let's that's go. great. Yeah. Mm, that's funny. Um, where was I? Okay. So the next one is a copper mastiff. Copper mastiff. Huh? So I think that served me off as like all these, it's like sub breeds. Um, well, yeah. I mean, I can't. Um, I feel like you I'm going to say a copper that. mastiff is real. That is fake. Mm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. The next one I got for you is a speckled Pomeranian. Speckled. speckled. Uh, I'm going to say it's a real dog. Speckled Pomeranian. That is a fake dog. Hmm. You're close. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm either going to be right or wrong, right? Uh, next one I got for you is a Chinese crested dog. That sounds like a dish in Asia. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say real. That is real. Okay. Good job. Good job. Chinese crested. They didn't have to put the dog part in there. I'm just like. Ch- uh, if you left the dog part out, I feel like that it sounds like something you'd find at like five below. Wouldn't that be like, oh, this is a pit bull dog. Oh, this is a golden retriever dog. This is a Chinese crested? Yeah. Chinese eh, Chinese crested what? Well, maybe change the crested to something else. Because <laughs> <laughs> crested is like an adjective where like bull isn't. So like you wouldn't say pit bull dog because there's no, like it's not an adjective waiting for a noun to describe they just said like mammal Uh, they'd be right i guess (laughs) (laughs) i don't make the rules man okay all right the next one i have is azawak Ooh, very popular amongst the eskimos uh uh, no no. okay well they came from over there uh yeah real that is real nice good job good job are they like snowy like up in cold places kind of dog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I got the picture around here, so I got too many damn screens. Speaking of Oz, Oz walks. You are on a walk? No, nah, she's barking like we're back. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I was on a walk and, uh. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
How do you spell it? Uh, A Z A W A K H. Ugh. No, not Ugly a not fucker. a fun thing. Mm. It's almost like a greyhound kind of looking. It's like really lanky and skinny. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one I got for you is a fluffer noodle. <laughs> I really hope it's well. I feel like if it was real, it'd be a fluffer doodle. I'm gonna say fake. It is fake. Okay. I should have changed it. Ah, uh, you made that one up. No, nah, well, Chat GPT did. Uh, but I should have read it and thought yeah, that. If, if it was doodle, I would have been like, yeah. well, maybe fluffer doodle. Hmm. Okay. Uh, next one I have for you is a pine wood corgi. Oh, I hope so. I love corgis. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, real. like corgi. Yeah, no, nah, that's fake. Fuck corgis. Dang, they got the little butt waddle when they're, they got all that sass. They, they, they walk like they have more butt than they do. <laughs> like, you know, when those chicks walk around and they're like, mm-hmm. and you're like, what are you doing? You ain't got nothing there. And they got them short little tiny little legs, yeah. but that big body. And they walk like they got a fupa, like looking like a new Corvette, like the trunks in the front. Like every time they're walking, it's just, I got a donk. I got yeah. a donk. I got a donk. Yeah. I got a donk. Well, you got a don't though is more like it so cute yeah uh the next one is a shipperky 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 a girl i hardly knew shipperky um real shipperky that is real i'm trying to figure out what that would be a is real? is real yeah you, you, you we probably wouldn't know how to spell that one huh oh it's shipperky spell that <laughs> <laughs> You fucked it up so bad, Google couldn't even help you. No, they couldn't. Uh, it's S C H I P P E R K E. Here it is. It knew I was looking for this. Oh, ew. No. No? Okay. No. Nope. I'm glad all the ones you look up look like shit. <laughs> I mean, some people, I'm sure, love these, but. Uh, yeah, well, not me. Nope. All right. The next one is a Pebble Hound Terrier. Oh, fake. That is fake. And I think I have one more. Make sure I hit all the others. All right. And the last one is an Australian stumpy tail cattle dog. I'm going real. That is real. Nice. Is real. Again. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> I think that was the best you've done so far. That was pretty good. Yeah. I think I. Oh, yeah. He's okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I took a bad approach to that one. I should have. So I'll hit you with some of the other fake ones that gave me. Oh my goodness! Look at that puppy. Okay, go ahead. I feel like I, sh- I think I, I took the fake ones that sounded real, and I shouldn't have because I feel like uh, the, the real ones that sounded fake. I think you said real. So fake. I had speckled pomeranian, feather paw, uh, sable hound, uh, Dappled Pincher, Frost Paul Shepherd, Velvet Boxer. I feel like some of those would have been <laughs> Russet Dane. Is that a fucking potato? Oh, yeah. A little bit of butter. and Yeah. Oh, I did have the pictures in here. I could have just scrolled down a little oh. bit. And oh, sent them to you. <laughs> I thought they were still on my notes. Hmm. Yeah, if you oh. just drag them into your notes, it'll show up in there. No, I know that. But so <laughs> like throughout the day, I put them in my notes app. And then before recording, I pull up the notes app on my computer because they're all shared notes and I pull them into a Word document. I was just trying to go off of the fact that I just learned that like 10 minutes ago. Oh, that you don't know shit about fuck? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But I know like... Did you know that uh, if you you text other people with iPhones, the messages are blue? (laughs) Yeah. No, it's not that bad. Well, sometimes it's not that good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was for the life of me convinced that we weren't going to record tonight because you weren't going to be able to get your modem. Oh, no, that's easy. You just plug it in and go to the website. Yeah, and it, it does it for you. It wasn't easy a couple months ago. Well, I just needed one more ethernet cable. We would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Do they sell an adapter for the ethernet cable to go into my phone? Uh, like I could plug yes, but the Ethernet into the USB adapter and then plug that into the other adapter. No, <laughs> no. So you can't hardwire so yes, phone. Like they they do sell like Ethernet to USB C cables, but the way it works is you have a network card 
like in computers that'll so have no, like wireless built in. Yeah. So yes, they do sell an adapter, but your phone's not capable of, of supporting it. Right. Yeah, okay. So yes, but no. Come on, Elon. Get it, get it together. They might have Starlink hardwired bullshit. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. I was uh, flying on the airplanes, all the planes that I had to fly over the past week. And uh, when we got up in the air, and because I just listened to like my iMusic, what do you call it? Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, we're talking about how easy this shit is. And I can't even. Yeah. I thought you said you watched movies on Southwest. So I didn't um, because my music just kept playing. And I was like, what? Usually done. And I look and I have that picture of like up where like your Wi Fi would be or like your bars. Mm -hmm. It's a little satellite, was a picture of a satellite. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you turned your satellite on. I didn't touch it. It probably didn't. As soon as the phone went into like SOS mode, it was like, oh, satellite. Huh. And it let me listen to music via satellite on an airplane. Because you don't have it all on your phone. It's just all. I have a few. Yeah, most of it's iPhone. Yeah. Um, but then on my flights back, I actually flew because um, we actually went from Maryland to Savannah. And then I flew back from Savannah today. But it had Oh, to that's be, right. Had to be Savannah to Atlanta to Orlando. Savannah to Atlanta. Was yeah. that like a three and a half minute flight? Yeah. Uh, so Savannah to Atlanta was 43 minutes. Jeez, that's almost as bad as Fort Walton to Atlanta. And I think um, it's the same. Atlanta to Orlando was like 50 minutes. It wasn't bad. Huh. Um, but I flew Delta on those two. I'll tell you what, Delta. And just as far as like they, every seat has its own screen. Yeah. They yeah. Pass out headphones and they have these little like biscotti biscuit things that were fucking awesome. You should go back and listen to the episode I was <laughs> oh, in Texas I when oh, I, I said, know. I prefer Delta. And you're uh-huh. like, I sound like an old grumpy bastard. I like Southwest. I like not being able to pick my shit. Well, I can pick just like one through 30. <laughs> <laughs> and they pick it for me. <laughs> it's just so much easier when you go on to check in and you pick your seat and then you don't have to worry about it. Cause you're like, ah. they were a lot nicer planes. They were more up to date planes. Um, and the crew was a lot friendlier than like Southwest. Which is funny because I, I feel like with as lower tier quality as Southwest is, everybody praises them for that. It could also be because Atlanta is like Delta's yeah. like main yeah. hub. Yeah. So maybe they like have their best people there, but the planes themselves, regardless, like the, the free computer in front of me to, I can play games with other people on the plane Right. I can watch movies, TV shows, whatever. Yeah. All totally free. Yep. So as I, as I tell my wife, it's like, I say these things for a reason, but my bag did not fly free and they lost my goddamn luggage tag, which was an awesome platform. Nine and three quarters luggage tag. And now, uh, how you lose a luggage. It wasn't on it. When I picked up my bag from baggage claim, it just wasn't on the bag. Hmm. I've had it on there for probably three years. Hmm. That's interesting that they lose that, but not the so fuck luggage those guys. Well, my first experiences with Delta were when I was in the military. So my bags did fly free. Yeah. Yeah. So That's a little different, but yeah. But I mean, compared to, <clears throat> but as you said, I mean, with what you pay for Southwest, you're not, your bags aren't flying free. No, they're they're tacking on that fifty dollar right. charge on every ticket yeah. for that bag. Where I think Delta's so. was ticket and then the per bag was like thirty five, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Which not probably terrible. evened out. It definitely evens out because if you want to upgrade on Southwest, that's anywhere from thirty to sixty bucks to upgrade your boarding. Where on Delta right. you already know where you're sitting, so you really don't have to upgrade it. <laughs> I hope your monitor's on so you can see me celebrating over here. Do the happy dance. Do the happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> um, I was thinking of you when I was drunk and Getting perfect weather yeah. all day. Yeah. Yeah. Except Watching for the, the 50 degrees that got you sick. Well, it made it up for it when I, uh, it made it up for it. That was a good sentence. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Eric. <laughs> Fucking ginger. Um, when the Ravens beat the commanders, that made up for it. 
Ah, uh, okay, okay. That was a good. That was a good time. That was a good time. Okay. You want to do a draft, sir? A little bit. I do two, sort of. Yeah. Like for two for two rounds, maybe three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I think you go first. I I'll do. Let you um. So we're gonna do the all-time defensive draft NFC North. And for anyone who doesn't know, that is the Bears, Vikings, Packers, Lions, not any of the other teams in the entire league. Just those four. That's their division. Cornerback, linebacker, defensive line, men, and a safety. One player per team can't take the same player. Going off tenure, not this dude was there for training camp. And here we go. God, all the fucking Deion Sanders. I can't believe these fucking dudes that take Deion. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here, guy. All right, well, my first pick, I'm kind of torn, but it's I'm torn between the same team, but I think I know who I want. And with my first overall pick at linebacker for the Chicago Bears, I'm going Brian Urlacher. Okay. With my first pick, I'm going to take defensive lineman Reggie White from the Green Bay Packers. Uh, fucked my shit up, didn't it? I don't know how you didn't do that first. Well, Willie Davis was actually my first Packer at lineman over Reggie. It's weird. Well, fuck you, David. Now I got to fuck. <laughs> I didn't play. I didn't had zero contingency plans. Let's see. I think the obvious choice would be. Yeah, I guess I have to. So my number two pick at corner for Green Bay, I'm going to go Charles Woodson. Fuck. Yeah, I thought I thought you might do that. Yeah, really wanted a different corner, but that's all right. You're going to go old dick. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Old old dick. (laughs) Uh, All right. Well, with my second pick, I'm going to take safety Paul Krause from the Vikings. Okay. Okay. Um, My third pick is going to be a Viking as well. Defensive line. I'm going to go Alan Page. Oh. Were you thinking? uh, Yeah. yeah. I didn't even write another one down. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get all these old fucks off our back on TikTok. I don't think the old fucks are really there. <laughs> no, you see some of the names they drop. They're like, how do they yeah, take these guys yeah. without taking this guy from 1912? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fought the Germans and played right. in a championship he the same the year. He survived Titanic. Come on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, with my third pick, I'm going to take cornerback Lem Barney from the Lions. So Lem is a safety. Uh, I have 1967 to 76 left cornerback, 1977 right cornerback. So where I was, where I was, had him listed as the best safety for the Lions. Where you were lied to you. And I knew that without looking because I ordered one of those gold rush jerseys. Lynn Barney is a former Detroit Lion defensive back and pro pro football hall of fame member who played safety. That's not true. Where where did you see that? Uh, just when you Googled Lemb Army, like the AI overview thing on Google. Uh, I Googled Lemb Barney position, and it says, is an American former professional football player who was a cornerback and a return specialist for the Detroit Lions. And I knew that because I ordered one of those Gold Rush jerseys from eBay a while back. Yeah. And I opened it up, and I saw Lions number 20, and I got really excited. And it wasn't Barry Sanders. It was Lem Barney. And I was like, I'm selling this. <laughs> so, well, shit. I'm sticking with my pick. And with my fourth pick, the great from 1951 to 1958 safety for the Detroit Lions, Jack Christensen. Whoa. Well, with my last pick, I'm going to go with linebacker Dick Butkiss from the Chicago Bears. The Bears. Well, I really wanted. I was going to take Willie Davis, number two. Oh, I still could have. Hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this, but at number two, you could have taken Willie Davis. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Because then I was oh, actually you would have messed it up a little bit. Because then I was going to go three. I was going night train lane. Well, hold on. So if you would have went Willie Dave, so you took. So he would have been a Packer. So you, you took, took a Packer. Locker. Uh huh. And then I took Reggie. Uh huh. 
And you would have taken him second? I had him second. I had Paul Krause third and Night Train fourth, because I just like that name, Night Train. So if you would have taken Willie second, I would have taken Charles at two. You got oh, me no, either I way. I couldn't. Oh, no, because you already had Reggie. They're both Packers. Mm-hmm. I probably would have ended up with the same team. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot of names I didn't know about, like a Ray Nishki. Yeah. Like Gary Fennick, Fenkick, Fensick. Fensick, yeah. Bobby Dillon. Uh, Willie Wood, Joey Browner, Donald Wolford, Bobby Bryant, Joe Schmidt, Richard Dent, Scott Studwell, Chris Spielman. Yeah. yeah. Corners was easy. Tillman, Winfield, Woodson, Night Train. That was fun. Yep. Barney. Fuck. Fuck. That was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. I think I need a beer after that. Dude, that was like like one of the most disappointing, <laughs> happy, like, you know, like on Christmas morning, like when you see a box wrapped and you're like, like, oh, that's that's definitely a PlayStation. And it sucks. Yeah. Like the shape and everything. You're like, sweet. Like, I couldn't be happier. And then you open it and you're like, what the fuck? That was, that was me. I was like blue, 20, a fucking Barry, because Barry Sanders auto jerseys are like 300 bucks. I paid like 80 for this thing. Barney. I'm like, what the, who the fuck is that? That big purple nerd, isn't he? Yes. Fucking, might as well send me a baby bop jersey. <laughs> What's the other guy's name? PJ? BJ. BJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the job himself all right i want to see if you can tell me how much of these things will kill you how much of these things okay so how much caffeine do you think would kill you Mm -hmm. i would say in like a day like a thousand milligram no no Um, let's uh equate it to cups of coffee oh like like two dozen like 24 something like that so i have i have high concentrations of caffeine can cause heart problems dizziness vomiting insomnia and headaches a single tablespoon of pure powdered caffeine which is the equivalent of about 120 cups of coffee can be deadly so i could drink 24 cups of coffee and be gucci well maybe not good but (laughs) alive alive (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah Uh, counting my leg hairs <laughs> yeah exactly that reminds me oh jesus oh yeah go ahead you must have been uh, probably at marshall or something but there was a i know party the story Ro- do you oh yeah party, party of rose house with oh, gil yeah. uh-huh uh fucking gil snorted adderall and then i think it was tony you know tony and gil were always joined at the hip he's like where the fuck is gil and i'm like oh i don't know i'm freaking out because i'm hammered I go outside and at the, you've been to Rhodes house, you know, it was like three steps going down into the driveway and fucking Gil sitting there just like Indian style. Just like, like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You good? And he's like, yeah, I'm just, just, just counting cars, count cars. There's one there, a uh, Honda Civic, uh, uh, for this, for that. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I'm way too hammered for this. And I was it just the cars that were like parked in the, in his, in his, uh, driveway. Yeah. But there was like 18 of them. Like, yeah. So I go back inside and I'm like, Tony, I found him. And he's like, is he good? I'm like, yeah, he's, he's counting cars in the driveway. Tony's like, what? I don't know, dude. <laughs> and start playing beer pong or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good times. Good times. Uh, all right. The next one. How much ground black pepper can kill you? Uh, um, go, go teaspoons with this one. That's it. Um, well, it's a lot of them, but okay. that's how it's measured. 83 teaspoons. Relatively close. It's okay. 129 teaspoons. 129 what does it, what does teaspoons do? of pepper can kill you. I don't know, dude. Kills you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, just makes you unalive. I just like the thought of like, what if I only had 128? <laughs> Should be good. <laughs> just botched attempt, I guess. All right. All right. Uh, all right. How much nutmeg can kill you? Nutmeg, barely knew her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twofer. Let's see. Uh, what uh, 
measure form of measurement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, teaspoons. I'm gonna say less than pepper. I'm gonna say sixty nine. It says a few, a few <laughs> teaspoons can kill you. So that's three Which, or more. So sixty nine isn't incorrect. I don't know that I've ever learned the three or more. To me, a few is like three. three. Just three? Just three. So what's four? If there's four or something, that's not a few? You, you have four of them. You either have one, a couple, a few, or four. Uh, let's see what Google says. <laughs> it's going to be qua something. A few is Why a phrase Googling that it, refers it just, to a small number that is more than two, but not a specific number. Okay. In convey. So, yeah. So, like, how many beers so did you te- have last night? Yeah, a few. So, technically, they only found a few bottles of baby oil at Diddy's mansion. Technically, because it was a thousand, but Elon technically only has a few dollars in his bank. Yeah. You know, same. Uh, if you want to measure by a few, we're, we have just as much money as Elon. <laughs> but that got me thinking like, you can buy a thing of nutmeg that's a few tablespoons right yeah they typically come in like that little mini but anything you use nutmeg in it's it typically is like light it's always light i just i I just feel like a, a packaged product shouldn't contain enough of something that can kill you i feel like it anything does like, like even water can if you have too much water yeah but you're not buying that much water like i don't think in one package you're getting 129 teaspoons of pepper unless you go to costco yeah that's true Mm. okay the next one is sugar how much sugar can kill you looking for teaspoons tablespoons i'm looking for cups cups i'm looking for cups if you weigh 150 pounds cups of sugar can kill you uh it's a lot of sugar uh 212 uh no 10 and a half oh jesus Oof. yeah Oof. So 10 and a half cups of sugar can kill you that's uh, uh not much yeah that's like six oreos i feel like <laughs> <laughs> it's like one yeah, it's like that full plate of cheesecakes that I got that I ate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish those? No, those were part of that. I had to throw them away before I left. Oh, God, dude. You know what else I you found? You should have known hurricane coming. Just crank them. You know what else I found when I was, I was actually, um, so I did the fridge. I got all that out of there. And then I opened up the freezer and like moved some stuff around. And there's two bags of that tempura shrimp like stuffed in the back from like, from like two, six three years, years ago. ago. No, oh, six. Was, oh, this was back that, in the, that wrong. Oh, that's right. Uh-huh. That was that long. Well, maybe not well, six because no, because we four. took some we'll to that four. game that Kayla came with us to. You remember the Jacksonville? Yeah, so maybe three. But they were still maybe hanging. I was ago. like, oh, you have definitely got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. How big's your freezer that you lose that much shrimp? They were in the back corner, behind uh, um, an empty box. Granted, of. Um, uh, Texas toast. <laughs> <laughs> the next one I have for you is toothpaste. Oh, one. We're going uh, tubes. Uh, tu- tubes or ounces? But yeah, we'll go tubes. I'll say two tubes. Twenty-four tubes. What? Twenty-four. I feel sick when I swallow like just a mouthful. <laughs> So 24 170 milliliter tubes. Oh, that sounds like some propaganda bullshit. They might be small because it says six ounces. Yeah, that's like the little travel size yeah. bullshits. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say this one. I don't expect you to get it because of the unit of measurement. But okay. How much Botox can kill you? S- I'm looking, I'm looking milliliters? for milliliters. Nanograms. Oh, it's uh, 1,084 <laughs> nanograms. 68 nanograms. Damn, I was close. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I have a couple more. How much vitamin C can kill you? Mm. I'll take measurements in oranges or <laughs> vitamin C supplement pills. <laughs> we'll go with oranges. I'm going to say you can't have any more than 96 oranges and it will kill you. 11,000. Holy shit. Or uh, 809 vitamin C supplement pills can kill you. Damn. How do they know this? <laughs> did somebody do this? Yeah, who did they test this on? Yeah. <laughs> Cause of death, 11,001 oranges. And one, right. Yeah. 
How many abdominal x-rays can kill you? <laughs> the unit of measurement is abdominal x-rays. 150. Uh, 7,143. Oh, I'm good. I don't know. You get like abdomen cancer? Like I don't. How do you, eh. Okay. Uh, the next one I didn't know was a thing. I don't think. Uh, but how many green potatoes can kill you? Ah, uh, oh yes, the green potato. Um, measurement in medium-sized green potatoes. <laughs> uh, four hundred and twelve. Twenty-five. Oh, shit, I got them rustics. That yeah. Yukon gold or russets or sweet purple. Yeah. Uh, the last one. How many bananas can kill you? Ooh, forty. Your clue is it's a lot, but it's not a lot. A lot. Uh, one hundred and ten. It's four hundred and eighty. It's a lot. Yeah, you, you had like, not a lot. A you lot. had like four hundred seventy nine the other day. I had yeah. If I ate them all at once, I might not be here to do this. That was so many fucking. It's also like a matter PTSD of like from... what's the length of time you're consuming this stuff because somebody's definitely had that amount of bananas in their life yeah that's a good question i want to say the the google ai overview just said in a short period like of time one bowel movement worth <laughs> it might you know what it might have been 24 hours some of this doesn't even seem possible in 24 hours Eleven thousand oranges <laughs> you couldn't do that yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of orange crushes from mm -hmm. coconuts hmm. Yeah, so don't do all of those in large quantities in a short amount of time. Correct. Now, what if you had like 128 teaspoons of pepper, uh, 10 cups of sugar, 22 tubes of toothpaste? Like, what if you had like borderline all of them? You think it'd be good? No, you would definitely not be good. <laughs> you might turn into like a like a super villain or something. <laughs> <laughs> like the yeah. origin story of this guy is just him in his kitchen just eating his entire pantry <laughs> yeah <laughs> like a hurricane just hit so he's got to eat all the food he had really fast yeah <laughs> uh that's uh yeah okay yep yep yeah, yep, yep, that's yep good hey asshole if you've made it this far you obviously enjoy it enough to subscribe so what the hell are you waiting for Press the button. Do you ever get like bruises in weird spots and you're like, how the hell, one, did I get that there? And two, no, that's about it. How the hell did that, like I didn't run into anything. I didn't bump into anything. Yeah, well, and it's like the bruise is big enough and in an inconspicuous enough spot that you would think you would remember how it yeah. got there. So I have two on my right thigh. One is like, up and to the right of the knee, and the other one is like a little bit higher up of the thigh. Well, that's explainable because I think you mentioned at least four times this episode that the last week has pretty much been a binge. So, <laughs> no, but I never like you don't remember like, no, I remember all the nights, nothing was that crazy. Mm. And I got drunk, but it wasn't like <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't what happened last night or who'd I kill or. How many bottles of beer did I drop at the bar? Um, no, it's like, I don't, I just don't. Well, that'd be from the week. It. Cause it would either be dissipating or not there yet. If it wasn't, yeah, from I noticed the week. them yesterday when we checked into our hotel and I was like, what the fuck? How? So maybe go, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. But do you ever get that where you're just like, yeah, why, all why the time. There, I'm speaking from experience. You're like, there. when did I like, you would think, you know, like, because it's in a spot that, like, obviously that would really fucking hurt if you, mm -hmm. like, bumped into like something. I would have remembered crushing my thigh into something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Got nothing. I don't know. Um, Noticed them yesterday. Let's see, medications, Which... aging, vitamin deficiencies, Cushing syndrome, bleeding disorders. You don't get random bruises from vitamin deficiency. Not getting enough vitamins and minerals can cause bruising. For example, low levels of vitamin C can make blood vessels weaker, and low levels of vitamin K can make it harder for blood to clot. Right. So they can increase the chances of bruising. But like, you don't just, like, not get enough vitamins and randomly start bruising all over your body. Like, you still got to do something to get the bruise. 
Right. I like the one that says aging. <laughs> yeah. The older you get, uh, the less you got to do to get hurt. Well, when I started feeling sick that one day, my mom was like, here's a vitamin C and a zinc pill. Maybe that's what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she, she asked me, she's like, did she pull it out of one of those like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday, she, Friday? It was like, she asked me things. like, do you take a lot of zinc? And I was like, what? <laughs> she's like, zinc, you should take zinc. And I was like, what do you, do you like do the you, metal? Do you, do you take a lot of zinc? Mom, I don't take any zinc. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I get from my diet. So she was like, here. I was like, okay. Didn't help. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is it going to do? Make you more magnetic? Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me them bruising pills. Oh, uh, that's... <laughs> uh, well, speaking of being old, uh, I think we both have jobs that we work with younger, the younger generation. Yeah. So... Being that, does working with the younger generation make you feel old or does it make you feel more in tune with like younger culture, society kind of like, do you feel like you're more, uh, I don't know if I know inept is a word. I don't know if ept is a word, but does, does it make you feel more with it? Like with what's popular no, because I feel like I do that on my own with as much YouTube that I watch and like some of the channels I'm subscribed to is a mixture of like younger generation Young stuff and old, and old yeah. stuff where work okay. is more so. I mean, there's terms and like and like slang that I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, right. It doesn't make me feel old because that's just a generational thing that happens with everybody. In 10, 15 years, they're going to go through the same thing where they're like, what the fuck are these kids talking about? Um, Which is the definition of making you feel old. It doesn't make me feel old. No, it doesn't make me feel old. It's just, I'm like, all right, okay. I Actually, the, the game I play is like, with a couple of them, is like, all right, teach me something. Like, what's my word of the day? Or like, what's my phrase? Or like, like uh, slang. Elaborate a little on that. Yeah. Is it like something that like you're trying to learn or like, like, do you have to use that in a sentence throughout the day? No, just like, I'll be like, Hey, can, Hey, what are you going to teach me today? Like, what do you got? Like, okay. So just like a learning. Uh, yeah. Just more so me trying to be like, uh, what's the, uh, just still rapport kind of, yeah. Be able to relate to them. Yeah. Just make it okay. that, that feeling. Um, but no, it doesn't make me feel old. Okay. That's the random so bruising. Kind of just kind of like a middle. <laughs> <laughs> that makes That's me feel old. pills mom's giving you. Yeah. So kind of like a, a middle ground of keeping your hip and bruising your hip. I mean, I could care less about it. It's more so for like the whole, hey, yeah, you know, my, my, my boss like wants to, you know, not, not. Fit it sounds like in. you're about to say something that makes you feel old. No, it's, it's like just to relate to them and just like be able to, talk to them I, I could care less what they tell me they could tell me something that i already know and i'll be like oh okay cool yeah thanks right but more like a like a self-reflection like if you're say you're driving home from work and you're just like you know reflecting on your day would you get a feeling of like i'm more in tune with the younger culture or like like i'm old and i don't want anything to do with that uh mm, i would say neither like okay I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's the same circle and process. It's kind of, it's kind of expedited a little bit now in the days of uh, like social media and how quickly you can access anything in the world. Um, but it doesn't really make me feel older. If that makes sense. Yeah. Or maybe it like makes you feel older, but you don't interpret it that way nah, it's much, like you interpret it as like a like physical stuff makes me feel older like <laughs> like getting up from my chair and going yeah you know that makes me mm. go oh yeah <laughs> yikes okay okay yeah i don't i guess i don't know how to ask it any differently without getting the same answer but I think I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, each generation is going to have its its slang and its terms. And I mean, we all did it in 
and they they come and they go and they fade and they come back or they don't. Right, they but when yours do. go and theirs comes, I feel like that's just like a natural aging. Yeah. Well, do you have any like gripes about working with such a younger generation? Uh, I would say like work ethic, but I think that that is um, always been a thing. Is you've in the history of man, there's always been just good workers and young. not good workers. But I think and it's more gotten, so not when you're that young. Well, no, because I mean, I had two jobs when I was 15 because I wanted a car and I wanted stuff. And it wasn't like my parents weren't well off, but it was like, you want something? All right, we'll go work for it. But if I remember correctly, at one of your jobs, you were high all the time. Well, it had its perks. <laughs> but they still paid me <laughs> you weren't high on perks i know that <laughs> no because i waited or and i didn't wait i bus tables at pirates cove and then i was right cart boy at south river golf course but i was also making five bucks an hour at the golf course and like three bucks an hour at pirates cove plus tips so to buy a car like i had to work you know um i thought there was going to be a justification for getting high in there no, yeah, just just your work ethic. <laughs> shotgun my first beer there. Uh, my first beer was a I, I shotgun a Bud Heavy because I was a soft Ooh. I was a sophomore and I was the youngest one working there. Everyone else were seniors. I was like, oh, I want to be cool. And uh, you know, peer pressure is not a thing, right? Um, I, I a Bud Heavy. It was the worst. I didn't even get probably half of it down. But it did the trick on like an eighty pound kid, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went and went into the uh, the picker, like the thing that you drive out in the driving range to pick up golf balls. I still remember having the time of my life. <laughs> Just like this oh, is man. why my dad drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so they could drive, so they could drive the picker around right, and pick up great. golf balls. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, yeah. How about any like funny stories with or just like a just working with the younger generation? Um, I'm sure anything if... that sticks out just like a like this one time, this fuck, something they did or said or that you did that they reacted a certain way. I, I don't know anything, whatever you got. No, I, I tend to act like and I, I do it on purpose, but like I always act like that, like what's the word like? Like the out of touch, like nerdy, like dad. They're like, come on, dad, you know, that kind of thing. But I can't think of anything specific. Because I love to embarrass people. Like, it's one of my favorite. You embarrass them. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. Like in front of customers? No, or like coworkers. In front of other employees? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, at that age, and I get it, I guess we were too, like, very, like, oh, did you hear what? Oh, and then he likes him. And then, oh, did you hear that? Oh, and that, that they're talking and stuff. And, and I'll just as loud as I can call them out in front of the other person yeah. and, and just like make it as awkward as possible. <laughs> I have to entertain myself on there. Like, like yeah, it's nothing yeah. like malicious or like, you know, anything right. unprofessional, but it's always like, like, all right, something to get a, get a good kick out of it. Yeah. And then after that, I just, I just, I just light the match. <laughs> yeah. And I let it burn. Let sit, them sit spray the gasoline. And, and yeah. Watch the forest fire go. Yeah. Uh, huh. nothing specific comes to mind though. No, no. Uh -uh. Okay. Would you consider yourself the cool boss? Mm, no. Like, would, no? Okay. No. Would you, would you enjoy working for you? I think I would. Yeah. 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 But that's, I feel like a biased, <laughs> yeah. okay. a biased question and answer. But mm. no, because I've always been a very um, like structured and hierarchy all mean something, you know, and, Right. Even if I don't like a person, they're still the boss and all that good stuff. And always been very good at uh, following rules and just doing what is expected. I'm very black and white when it comes to work. Like, that's the right, that's wrong. I don't care who you are. You're my dishwasher. You're my assistant manager. I mean. Right. But I think I would because I've worked for a lot of shitty people and I've worked for a lot of good people. And I think I've gotten. You learned. Learn yeah. how to be, how not to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's days where you can joke around and have a good time, and there's other days where uh, I feel like when the Egyptian dudes on like their uh, King Tut, like their uh, what's that little thing with the horse, like the little the Sphinx, uh, like it pulls you on the horse and you're standing on it, and it's like a a wagon. 
Yeah, but like, yeah, think of like, like, like the gladiators. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't don't know what the fuck it's called. The the cultured one. One of those things. And like, I'm like, like chariot, chariot. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm not going to finish that sentence. (laughs) (laughs) Something about slavery. Yeah, I would say whipping the sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Well, Well, other days where you have to crack the whip. There you go. There you go. There Mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. That's good. This I felt old like, uh, um, when I was in Maryland going through second through senior year in high school, second grade through senior year yearbooks. That made me feel old. One yeah. was like the clothes we were wearing and like just like the haircuts and the style. Obviously, like the pictures of us were like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> woof, <laughs> you know, buzz your girlfriend. Um <laughs> And hopefully but, that's changed. A but then bit. I also was looking at, I was like, dang, dang, you were like a little ladies man back in elementary school, and middle school. Like I got all these like, cause back in the day you would leave your home phone number in the yearbook. Right. That was cause that's how you, Hey, you want to hang out. You want to, Hey, you know, whatever, whatever. I was like, Oh, yes. Yeah. Cause we weren't like the six year olds with iPhones. Well, I got Jesse's day. phone number and Monica's phone. Yeah. Number. I was like, Oh, okay. A little pimp. Little, so little it's, it's funny you say that because you had sent me the picture of what I wrote. In your that was so funny. And one, it's your exact same handwriting as it is now. Yeah, like a girl. But like compared to everyone else who looks like they're like, uh, like what's that dude's name? Uh, Michael J. Fox, like trying to write their name. Oh, yeah. Um, but yours, and then it was like, what's up, dog? D A D A W G. Want to come over Tuesday? Laugh out loud in brackets. Like it's still how you would like. <laughs> Like text me now. I was like, "Hey, what's right. up, dog? You want to come to say? All right, cool. Call me." <laughs> so, so yeah. I, so I was looking at that, and the phone number I put was old house number. Well, it was the line that my mom got for me. Like, oh, your just own for me. line. Talk to them yeah. girls. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, I forgot all about the number. Uh huh. And that that made me. And Did I you try calling. It? Of, no. Oh, you should. should try, we? Yeah, you should call it. So it wants me to go to the Verizon website to enable yeah, call. Yeah, so yeah, I'll yeah. have to do it another time. Yeah. Uh, but also, LOL at the uh, Josh Hartman. Oh, there were some names in there. I should have sent you some more, dude. And the and the Mike Heim right under it. There were some names in there. I should have sent. Funny. I should have sent more. The um. Yeah. Like the middle school ones were very like, holy crap! I completely forgot these people existed. Like, um. High school, not so much, but still a little bit. Um, but man, the middle school That's ones. Because you were less concerned about getting it signed and more concerned about getting the fuck out of there. Yeah. The elementary school ones are like, you know, you drew all you drew all over like the girls that you hated in quotes yeah. with like yeah. devil horns and like <laughs> nerdy glasses. And for some reason, when I opened up my eighth grade yearbook, like I'm going through it, looking at pictures and I'm going, I, would, I was going through seventh graders and and big black Sharpie, Chris Rhodes is crossed out. <laughs> Good. And the only person in the yearbook that I wrote on, and I couldn't even tell you why. I didn't uh, even know I knew him was... in eighth grade. I don't think I did. Eighth grade? Yeah. I don't think I knew him then. Yeah. I didn't. And uh, who, who else did I see? Oh, and Molly Johnson looked like a Mormon. Mormon? Like she was like little collared shirt, like hair was barely below her ears. And like, she, looked, she just, I was like, that is not what I was picturing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great white buffalo. Uh, yeah. She was <laughs> <laughs> great Joseph Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, great white buffalo. No. <laughs> yeah. That's so, uh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to, next time I go up to mom's, I'm pretty sure mine are in the attic. Mm-hmm. I didn't, yeah. I, I had it when I went up there, I had every intention of going in the attic and trying to pull a hard drive from a computer, seeing if I could get more of my wraps. Uh, oh yeah. Never, never, never made it's it. It's definitely a rabbit hole. Cause I like started and I was like an yeah. hour later. It's I like was the like, original oh YouTube. God. Yeah. That's funny. And like, so the eighth grade one, I should take, I should have brought it with me and taken you pictures and like all the middle school ones. There's like, you know, the spots where you can fill out like, who's most likely to do this and and this yeah. and like list all your favorite movies and your friends and this. And then I think it was sixth or seventh grade was like the names and phone numbers. And I had like the names, their phone numbers and their AOL screen name. And that yeah. brought back some like real deep, deep core memories. Like, Oh, it was all like the, the girls. It was, you know, the ones, yeah. that, you know, but it was like, Holy shit. 
that was a thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, STLMSU. Man, 28. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so oh, reminiscent. Good times, good mm-hmm. times. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to find those. So this week, Ask Reddit, it's, it's, a, it's a big topic of conversation. Uh, what were you scared of while you were growing up as a kid? Hmm. So to this day, <clears throat> I won't do slash maybe just haven't done the whole Bloody Mary thing. What? <laughs> Like going in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, what do you mean to this day? Like you still won't do it? I I haven't. I still haven't done it. I don't know that there's ever been a point in time that I've been like, oh, I ain't doing right. that. Well, we'll do it together next time I see you. Okay. For Thanksgiving? Can- <laughs> for Candyman or whoever we want to summon. Okay. Before okay. you read them, do you have one? Um, the first thought was just, I mean, probably most kids was the dark but more yes. specifically was like as fast as like Usain Bolt runs a hundred meter dash. Like the second you flick that light off downstairs sprinting to your room. Um, okay. Or, so that's, that's kind of where I started and then it just sounded too mainstream, which no. is what led me because with the whole bloody Mary thing is the dark. It's like, you got to go in there and turn the lights off. Right. Um, so I think that's where I, the only other win with it. instance I remember is was I don't know if it's like a specific thing to be scared of, but we were camping in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Um, I was probably twelve, give or take. Um, and my dad, it was just me, and my buddy, and my dad, and he had a Jeep. He still has it, but a, a Jeep Commander. Um, which back in the day was great because it had this little pop-out TV in the back, but it's like a four-inch TV. Um, you know, we're 12. We're like, oh, we're going to go watch a movie in the car. So he'd like turn the car on for us like at night. And we can go watch a movie in there. And we watched, um, we watched not The Hills Have Eyes, but the other one. Uh, oh, I don't know. Something with like, you know, local hillbilly folk that kill you. Basically, you know, you go up to the woods to your cabin, right. and they, they come and kill you. And like we like they were somewhere in West Virginia in like the movie, in this fictional movie. And we after watching it, like went to his GPS in the Jeep and like plugged it in. We're like, oh, my God, that's like two hours away. <laughs> and so we're like sitting up all night, just like with flashlights, just like pointing them at the woods like they're not going to get us and, and just like being freaked the fuck out. And then he played along with it so well. And he tried to like, you know make noises and do this and that yeah 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 but now yeah, the dark i can't really think of anything that like frightened frightened me as a kid so that oh, that sort of reminds me of a the mickey a mouse story. halloween special uh-huh, okay let's get the shit the nightmare before christmas used to scare me as a kid mm-hmm. okay um but so your story reminded me of a story uh i went over nick's house one time to I don't know, stay the night or some shit and he lived in ponder's cove and we went down you've been down there right you know like the beach mm-hmm. at the end or the i don't even know if it's a beach it might just be there's like a park basketball court there might be a pier it might be a beach i don't know it was a long time ago um and these like older kids came down to play basketball and he's like he like saw him walk because it's just a one long street obviously you know the streets branching off of it to other roads and houses and shit but there's like that main drag that goes all the way down to the water and he saw these like older kids walking down and was like holy shit get over here get down so we like ran over and like hid but i don't even know what like a bench or some shit some shit that they couldn't see us and they like walk up to the basketball court and start playing basketball. And he's like, Oh, those, those guys like killed someone or like, you know, did this or that. And I was like, Oh shit. Fuck? Like, get I out was of like, here. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to fucking die. He's like, yeah, there's like, like they can't, no, I don't know if he said evidence. We were like eight or some shit, but he was like, you know, they can't whatever them because they don't have proof, but like they, everybody in the neighborhood knows they did it. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to fucking die. It was, oh God, it, it felt like an hour of it. It was probably like five minutes. And then he was like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Like, I don't know them. And I was like, oh, dude, 
<laughs> did I about shit my pants? It was awful. Yeah. That was probably one of the most scared I've ever been. So, Nick, I know you probably don't listen to this, but if you ever do, fuck you for that. <laughs> there was a, um, when I grew up in Westminster, there was a, this is middle of fucking farm bill. There was like, we take the back roads to go biking all the time and go, you know, go down to the creek or whatever. And there was like this lone house behind these cornfields, like up on this hill that was perched. And our parents always told us this, it was like some crazy, crazy murdering, never go up there, this, that, and the other. They've been, you know, they slaughter kids in their basement, and this and this. And like every time we'd ride by, you would like, Oh, go put it in the third gear and like fucking go. Like you, you got to get past right. the house because if they see you, they're gonna abduct you, kind of thing. Um, all right, let me read a couple of these. So, um, I was scared of the dark. Okay, yeah, no, yep, no, okay. Uh, thunderstorms. Oh, it sounds like Jolene. Uh, let's see, Nazis. I grew up a long time ago. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, there was a hole in the ceiling of my closet that led to the attic, and for some reason, I thought there were wolves up there. Yeah, any like dark little small area for sure as a kid. Uh, let's see. Bigfoot, ghosts, nuclear war, uh, clowns. Clowns is a good one. Um, death, quicksand. Oh, made me think of another one. I think I told you this story about the ring. Me and my buddy just watched the ring. Yeah, that was like two episodes ago, right? Yeah, we just finished watching it and we left outside. It was like middle of the day and we went outside and like the neighbor had a giant, one of those giant ladders from like the VHS in the ring, like on the side of his house, just like in like the movie. And it freaked us the fuck out. We ran right back inside. <laughs> <laughs> we turned off the TV. Yes. yes. And I think we like played a board game like nothing with like electronics we were like no she's gonna come through she's gonna she's gonna, she's gonna come in uh-huh, uh-huh yeah the sea uh the dark yeah that was a better one for us to kind of see what our yeah yeah okay yeah that's it that's it all right well this week my ask reddit is non-americans who have been to the u.s what is the weirdest thing about america that americans don't realize is weird I'm going to say tipping is going to be one of them. Um, like tipping at restaurants. Right. Um, like greeting and smiling, to, like being like, like super nice to people you don't know, like complete strangers. Like, Hey, how are you? How was your day? And like, you've never met this person. That's probably a good so one. So l- let me just start reading them before you, okay. you start knocking them out one by one. Oh, <laughs> am I getting a lot of them? <laughs> uh, yeah. Or a few yeah. of them. Okay. Uh, the first one I have is putting the real estates Putting the real estate agent's face on the for sale signs. Hmm. I guess that's not a thing. Yeah. I feel like it should be. You want to see the person and be like, ah, they look trustworthy. Okay. Yeah. This one said, American here, but something I didn't realize was weird until I traveled out of the country. Some of our coins don't have the denomination value on them. Don't have the denomination value? Like a quarter doesn't say how much it's worth. Whereas like, coins in other countries do. I feel like, like they I think did. a penny says one cent, but. Oh, yeah. Dime right? doesn't say 10 cents on it. Yeah. Huh. That is kind of weird. Like, you just know. Yeah. But if you're out of yeah. the country, you're like, you're uh, like well, what the fuck a is dollar? this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh-huh. They just hold out their hand to change. Here, you, you yeah. figure it and out. Like, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, here's your change. And this is probably right. No, I don't know. Or just still having a penny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Uh, I have how easy it is as an outsider to make friends. You guys are nice as hell, which like blew my mind because people hate us. We're we're not. No, because America's just a bunch of I hate us. Like (laughs) makes me wonder whenever because I know I told you the next year or two, I want to go to the UK. Like how are people just going to be dicks? (laughs) Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of assholes out there. Like I I have. Prescription drug ads on TV that casually say side effects may include death. Yeah. I was shocked. Yeah. And then they said, edit, the number of people who simply are talking about the legal requirement slash logic behind the death warning just proves my point. In most other countries, you can't advertise prescription drugs, especially those with egregious side effects that may, in fact, include death. In my country, you have OTC drugs like cold and headache drugs being advertised or basic supplements. Mm-hmm. This wasn't a comment about the death part, just the extent of healthcare corporization 
that allows prescription meds to be promoted like candy. Mm -hmm. Big problem over here. Yeah. I have the options when ordering food. I thought it was a TV joke. I feel <laughs> I feel naughty asking to swap chips for mash, but you guys can request pretty much anything. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, can you? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Um, I have the restaurants expect you to not finish the food and take it home. My mother finds taking home leftovers from a restaurant to be embarrassing and will not do it, but. American restaurants have portion sizes that seem to expect this. Yeah, so they can charge it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I actually commented on. He said, big everything from food to trucks. And <laughs> I commented and said, you should see the food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh. Uh, this guy said your new, your news channels display far too much info on the screen. Oh yeah, they'll be talking about one thing, but at the bottom there's another thing, and over here there's three hundred. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I have the toilet is so full of water. Well, yeah. I mean, then you don't have to leave fucking skid marks when you're. Well, I don't know how much they do in other places, but I'm pretty sure he responded to a comment on this and said something about, like, he's afraid his butt cheeks are going to hit the water when he sits down. <laughs> ah, they're not that full. Maybe uh, your balls. Have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have couldn't buy beer on Sunday morning at Walmart in North Carolina. Yeah, but you could in Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. I was actually... When we came down to Georgia um, with mom and Jamie and we went to Publix just to like get stuff for the hotel. I'm just like, I'm going to get a bottle of wine and this and this and this. And I'm like, don't you wish you could do this in Maryland? She's like, yeah, I don't fucking get it. Why can't I? <laughs> this is crazy. I don't get why we don't fucking live in Maryland. Right. It doesn't make any sense. But we can go get weed and gamble at the yeah. casino. Like, I'm like, yeah. I, I ain't no goddamn sense. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I have to piggyback a little bit on the last segment the work culture is crazy i work there and some people just don't take time off they are basically on call all the time evenings weekends whatever yeah thousand percent yeah it's ridiculous i have the tax isn't automatically added to the price shown in shops restaurants etc yep. if i only have a dollar in my pocket i'd like to see straight away what i can buy for that dollar without trying to find out the tax rate and calculating it, it. would be nice it would be nice yeah and the last one I have is the gaps in toilet stalls. Yeah. Although, when's the last time you were at BWI? Uh, two months ago? Did you go into one of the men's rooms there? No, I usually don't go to the bathroom when I land. Oh, my God, David. They're like, they just finished, like, they just redid them. And it's like, the stalls, it's it's like a bunch of like, you'd think they're like showers in there. It's a bunch of like rooms and closed doors. Which is normal in other countries. Like it's, and then you go in and it's a toilet and you're in a completely enclosed room. There's nothing. Yeah. It's just, and it's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I heard one of the podcasts I listened to, they were talking about how they went to like Europe or something. And they were like, not only are like the gaps, because you know, in America you can like, I can see the dude's knees. You could fucking wave to something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they were like, not only do they touch side to side, they go floor to ceiling. And I'm like, what are we doing? Saving money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but to my, so yeah, when I was reading through it, it's every other fucking comment was like, how nice you guys are. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there was one I forgot to write down or maybe I just didn't read it. Hold on. Oh yeah. So I missed one. It says, y'all can strike a conversation with a tree. Y'all literally don't need anyone to respond, and you'll yabber away relentlessly. Now, they're from the U.S. She said y'all twice. Yeah. No one else says y'all. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure someone commented on that when it was like, the y'all's throwing me off. Right, yeah. Like, you're from the U.S. if you're saying y'all. Yeah. But, like, the amount of, like, you hold the door open for people, like, the the... The common greetings of, in, in passerby. You walk up to the cashier and you, and you just go, so hey, nice. how are you? Like, yeah. And it was like, that just like blew my mind because we're like the most ignorant asshole fucking culture in the world, I feel like. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we're also not, not to like put either of us down, but I wouldn't say that we are cultured people. Not like, cultured, but from as the media, I guess, portrays us 
Like well, we, based I off wouldn't of have guessed us our, to be a friendly society. No, based off of the people that they show the rest of the world as running our country. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and a lot of the people I know. Yeah. Well, maybe. Eh. Like, but you get what I'm saying, though. Like I just, I, I don't know. I yeah. just. And even the way the media portrays other countries, like I feel like if I went to France, it'd be like, "Oulez-vous boucher avec soi?" Mm-hmm. While I mean, holding the door and. Well, travel broadens your horizons, so they say, and I want to eventually. I'm going to start doing it, and the UK is step one. So we'll. I'll, I'll let you know whenever that happens. Deal. See. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> but so seeing all that, it got me uh, to this next thing that I googled, and upon googling, wanted to ask you. Yeah. I wanted to see if you could name the top 10 most unfriendly states according to the World Population Review. Hmm. Let's say New York. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> Number five. Um, unfriendly. I'm going to say Maryland's on there. No. D.C.? State. That's uh, all states. Okay. Virginia? Put the, the first part of that in there, though? M- Mayor? No, the first part of the second thing you said. Washington? That's number six. Okay, weird. Um, South Carolina. What did you say after I said no to Maryland? Virginia. Oh, no. There's, there's a couple there, but no. no. South Carolina? Not South Carolina. I feel like that's got to be top. Right, like they hate living there because there's no. Oh, no, I meant, oh. I meant for like friendly. Oh. Like, uh, I feel like that's good old Southern so folk. Delaware, Pennsylvania? Uh, Delaware's number three. Pennsylvania surprisingly not on the list. Um, but I think that's just Philly. Mass- I think it's Mass- just Philly. It's definitely Philly. Massachusetts? Yeah. Massachusetts, number four. So it's all these northeastern and mid-Atlantic states. <laughs> 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 um, uh, there's one more northeast. Uh, West Virginia? No, no northeast oh, state. Northeast. Um, oh, Rhode- two more northeast Rhode Island? states. Rhode Island's number 10. Uh, New Hampshire? New Hampshire's number seven. So those are the two so northeast. you have... You have two, eight, and nine. You're doing pretty good. California? Not California. Michigan? Not Michigan. Florida? Florida's number nine. Okay. One, you would think for no fucking reason whatsoever. And two, you'd go, eh, okay, I get it. Who's a fucking dick? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Oklahoma? No, you're, you're close with the, the why the fuck. Yeah. So. Um, Missouri. There's like, no, there's like three more that you could say that you'll get it with that one. Tennessee. No. Kentucky. No. Ohio. Not, no, not quite as like straw in the mouth. White. But kind of straw in the mouth. South Dakota? No. Uh, uh, Arkansas. There you go. Arkansas is number two. That's big straw in the mouth. (laughs) Yeah, not like Tennessee and Kentucky, I feel yeah. like. Well, you know, they're all sisters and cousins. Um, yeah. And what's the last one? The last one, one is, <laughs> last one's eight, and it's like, a, like you wouldn't guess it, but when you know it, you're like, eh, okay, I get Utah. it. Utah. No, you're close. Colorado. Still close. Nevada. There you go. Nevada's uh, number eight. All right. Right? You're like, eh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I get it. There you go. Your most uh, unfriendly states. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of that northeast up there. Yeah, there are a bunch of. I just still for the life. I feel like Philly itself is enough to make up for the rest of Pennsylvania. Yeah, it is. And I think the northeast. I think mainly because it's like just so congested up there. Like it's so little room and so many fucking people, and everyone's not having a good time. Yeah. Well, if you look at the political map, it's. Pretty blue up there, I think. So it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Cause they're blue, nah, but nah, nah. Mm, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. You know, I know. I right. got you. I got you. You got you. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you know that in the gay culture, the letter E is an abbreviation for non-binary, a term used to describe people who identify as neither male nor female. It's usually used for self-identification only. Ah, so the E and E sports kids is for gay fucking homos and not electronic sports. Correct. Which means they can neither get 
a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Both of them. You bitches. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs>